I thought this was gonna be easy to do, but like, it's literally taking me 10 minutes to even part my hair. What's happening? I feel like I'm all over the place and I need to take a breath because I guess I'm just really excited to do this video. <laughs> channel it's Ariel Artistry here and today we're going to be doing some cute little hairstyles so I'm not really a hairstyle type of girl um I as you guys can see I literally wear my hair like this all the time I'll either do that or like cute little pom-poms or something but I wanted to venture out just because you know you get bored with the same hairstyle all the time so I wanted to show you guys some cute little hairstyles for natural hair that I usually wear if I do want to venture out and do a hairstyle or um, that's new to me. So I know I don't have a lot of hair related videos, um, but I really wanted to, you know, start you off with this one since I already have like a hair routine, which actually changed, so I might do another video. But yeah, I get a lot of questions on my hair, so I just wanted to come on here and talk about it. <laughs> Before we end the video, you already know what to do. Subscribe to my mermaid squad, be a part of the fam. I would love to have you. I come with open arms. <laughs> and don't forget to put your notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video, since I'm doing two times a week, if you guys have noticed. <laughs> so yeah, let's just dive on into these hairstyle looks because you know, your girl needs a little change up in here. All right, so I'm gonna be like sitting kind of low so you can see because I have a lot of hair. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see this makeup look, I will list everything I use down below. It's on Instagram. So peep Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me. I post different looks on there every single day. So yeah, check it out. But um, back to this hair, I feel like I look really weird. So I'm gonna have like a little bit of my neck showing. But yeah, so I would just wanna show you guys the first hairstyle that I want to do. But before, actually before we get into that, I wanna show you like the tools and stuff. So one of my favorite tools right here is a Q Redo. So I do have a video on how to use this. I love this guy because it just gives you a lot of hydration, especially like if your hair is really dry and it needs it or it just needs like a refresh, this bad boy is awesome. So you just take the little guy out right here and then you pour water into here. And I like to use bottled water or distilled water. That's what it tells you to use. So that's what I just do so I don't mess it up. <laughs> and you just press the button here. Just if you want to use this, just make sure you don't get too close to your scalp because it is hot and you don't want to burn yourself. But look, the seam comes out. And before I got a steamer, I actually used to use this on my face like that. I don't want to mess up my makeup, but <laughs> yeah, you can use it as a face steamer too. Yeah, I really love this guy and it definitely helps with my um, hair because I have really dry hair and my hair is actually dirty right now. That's the best time to style it because if my hair is fresh and clean, it's not going to cooperate. So I made sure not to wash my hair, which I'm dying because I need to. <laughs> so yeah, so let's start with the first look. Um, I had coffee, so don't mind me. I'm all over the place as usual. So for the first look, it's so, so simple. I'm just going to take this extra large hair tie. So I just like go like that, but I'm actually gonna use two of them. I put that down and I take my spray bottle. So this is like a cute little mister. It mists out the water and there's nothing in here. I just have water in here and sometimes I'll dip like a little bit of oil and I just spray my hair, make sure it's nice and wet, especially like around the crown of my head. And I've been natural for about four years. Um, I'll insert a picture of like my big chop. I actually cut my hair myself. So I was at home one day and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of my hair looking like this. I want a fresh start. So I literally just took scissors and started chopping. I think I watched one YouTube video on it and I just started chopping my hair off. And then the next day I went to um, my hairstylist. I also have a video um, with her as well when she cuts my hair. I'll link that down below too. Um, but I went to her and she's like, what did you do? I was like, well, you know, I didn't want to wait. So can you just kind of shape it up? So she shaped it. It was like a short pixie cut. And yeah, my hair has been through a couple of stages. 
actually let me let me organize this video a little bit better okay so let's talk about my hair journey i need my phone for this because i don't really remember too much so hold that thought before i did chop my hair off i decided to just go natural i did have a little bit of perm in my hair as you see in the pictures so that's when I was kind of sick of it. I just saw the little straggly hairs and I, I thought that was not cute. So I just decided to cut my hair. So that's the next picture that you're gonna see. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like before my big chop. So that is in May, 2017. So let's get back to the video. But I know that I first went short and my hair was already natural, it was black. So that was when I chopped it myself. And that was in 2000. 17 and then I went to that I'm gonna post a better picture um, I went really short and then I dyed it like blonde I loved it but it killed my hair badly so it was just it was a no-go so then I dyed it back to black and then yeah I just been rocking it since then and then this is the first time I dyed it was this red color and that was this year I actually really like it but don't be afraid if you want a big chop, I, I say do it because your hair will grow back. I don't know, I'm not the type of person that like gets attached to their hair. I'm like, okay, it'll grow back, whatever. But if you wanna do a big chop, I definitely recommend it. It's gonna take your hair a really long time to grow. I Like I said, I chopped it off in 2017 and this is how my hair is now. I feel like it, it does grow as long as you take care of it. But yeah, that's my little hair journey. I'll definitely um, do another video since I changed all my products and everything is different from the other video that I have. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's get into the hairstyle now. <laughs> so I wet all my hair. So now what I do is I take this guy. This is a 24 hour edge tamer by Eben. I freaking love this. This like holds down all of your hairs. My sister actually put me on this. Uh, when I had those twists, twist locks. I take this brush right here. This is actually for like teasing, but I like to use it to like flatten down my baby hairs. I'm gonna dip it into the edge tamer and just tame my edges. You see that? Like, oh my God. This like really tames it. Like, look at that. And I didn't even like hold it down with a head scarf or anything like. And then I have this other hard brush. I'm sure everybody has this brush. Like, you know what this brush is. And then I just kind of brush it back with it. And I'm gonna turn around and try to get the back for you guys. And once that is on there, I take my large hair tie, I put it through, ow, and then I just roll it back. This is one of my favorites because it just, it just snatches like your face and it's like such an easy hairstyle. And then I push it, far back. And then you don't have to do this. I just like it to be really tight. I take another one and do the same thing. And that's it. And then I'll like finesse my hair a little bit, fluff it out. And then I'll take my little hair pick. I love this guy because it really gives you some volume and you could just pick your hair out. And then I'm gonna take that gel again, the edge tamer, make sure that they're all laying down flat. And like I said, you could put a headscarf on this to make it even flatter. My hair usually stays pretty well. I just do it like this. Cute. And that's the first hairstyle. I love it. It just snatches your whole face. Like it's so nice. And it just like, if you have a exotic makeup look like this one, it just highlights your makeup. It just looks so freaking pretty. I realized I did not put a highlight on today. Wow. I actually kind of like it. Um, the only bad thing is I do get a headache because of both of the bands on there, but by that time I'm usually home. Let's move on to the next one, which is very similar to this, just split in half. So be very careful when you take the big hair tie out. Like you see how it's kind of stuck right here. So just be very careful that you don't rip your hair out. All right, for the second look, oh my God, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> for the second look, you're gonna need everything you used for the first look, which is the edge tamer, two hair ties, but we're gonna use the smaller hair ties this time, that taming brush, and you need, um, I don't know what this comb is called, a rat tail comb, I think that's what it's called. So you can part your hair. So I usually go right in between my nose and then I start the part right there. And since I have a lot of hair, this takes a little bit for me. See how it's not straight? So I just go over it again. And sometimes I need another person to do the back. Unless you got mad skills and can make it straight, I give you props, I definitely can't do that. Even with a mirror, like it just doesn't work out for me that way. And now I'm gonna take um, some butterfly clips and just clip this side down, just so it doesn't get mixed in with the other side. So I'm gonna take another butterfly clip and just clip it. 
can keep on going. Woo, straight, what up? So, I don't know if it's 100% straight. At this point, I don't care because it took me forever to do it. <laughs> so, um, we're just going to put our little hair tie in. So, keep all of your clips on this side so it doesn't go to the other side and mess up your part. And I'm gonna spray my hair again. And you're literally gonna do the same thing, but just with the smaller one and make a little poof. And then I take my brush and just make sure it's nice and smooth. And you can even take your gel, your edge tamer and put it in here if it's not as flat as you'd like it. And I only wrap it around once. So I do one, that's it. You can do two, but it just puts more pulling on your hair. So I just like to do it once. And then I like pull the inside of my hair like in here to make it flat and then I just puff it out like I did before and there's one little puff and if you want you can make these like space buns you can just put a bun like that and do that that's cute too and I know this makes you look like a little kid <laughs> like a little girl but if you have a cute outfit on this will work. Like if you're going to like a concert or something, like I've worn my hair like this to a concert. I just think it's cute. I don't think it looks too little kiddish for me. And do the same on the other side. So this could be the pom-pom. So all I did was like, I still have my fingers attached to the little loop right here. So you can let it go and then keep that little puff. And then just make sure that they're even. And there is your two little pigtail things and I just fluff them out so it looks like I have more hair. So cute, I love this. So I don't know if you guys noticed, um, I do some of these hairstyles in my intro. So this is what I did. I just did little hairstyles like this. So this is the second look. So the first one is a little bit more conservative. You can wear that to work, but this one is a lot more playful. So you can do this for like a concert or maybe like a little kid's birthday party or something, I don't know. I would just wear this regularly, but if you wanted like a more mature look, then you can do the other one or the buns, like I said. But yeah, that's look number two. So I'm gonna do a look that I have never done before and I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it because like the whole half up, half down, I feel like my hair is still too short for that. So I haven't tried it, but I'm gonna try it on camera for you guys. So let's be on this journey together. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the third look. So we're gonna do half up, half down. So I'm gonna have to part my hair again. Ah! First, I'm gonna use the Cura Do just to kind of like refresh. All right, so now I feel a little bit better, a little bit more movement. The water does help too, but that the steam really helps loosen it up. So now we're going to be parting from here. I might, yeah, let's do from here. So I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and then just start parting. Sometimes people, I'm trying to think like what I've seen. I've seen people go up and I've seen people go across. I might go up because I'll have more volume, if that makes sense. If I just go across, it's just gonna look like that. Like it's not gonna look cute. At least if I go up, you'll see some of the volume. So I'm just gonna use my finger for now and I'm just gonna use my butterfly clips so I don't lose that line. And like back here, if you want to cheat a little bit, <laughs> you don't have to make a line, you know? You could just keep the line right here because you're not really gonna see this part. So that's what we're gonna do so I don't have to give myself a headache from parting my hair. So let's just do the same on the other side and I just kinda go like that. So for this part, you can just like use your finger. So I'm just literally using my finger to guide along. All right, so take this away, push that part back. And now I'm gonna take my water and now we're gonna take our little brush. I don't need any more gel because I have the leftovers. And if you want, you could do little baby hair designs. I don't typically do that. It's just not my style. But if you want, you totally can. And I think it'll look so cute. And now I'm just gonna take my smaller head uh, hair tie. Make sure that this is pushed back so you don't get any in there. And then just wrap it one time. And you could do a bun here too. Like, sorry, I have like a lot of hair. So you could do a bun like that. I think that's cute too. I might put it to the side since I like this side better. Okay, 
I mean, it's different. Yeah, let's try the bun. I'm gonna take another hair tie and make a bun. So I'm just gonna twist it around and then put the second hair tie and I just wrap that once too. See what I mean? Like, I feel like my hair is not long enough for this. Like, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I just have a giant like bun on my head. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm gonna put this extra hair in there where we should have parted. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take that extra hair and put it in here and see how that looks. And you can leave it, no, this looks like um from Dr. Seuss, like Cindy Lou Who. That's what I feel like, dude, like. <laughs> Not bad, honestly, it looks better that I put more of the hair back. So we're gonna take the pick and we're just gonna pick out since we put most of the volume in the bun. I wish I did this last so I can wear this out to my house since we're quarantining. So I feel like you can wear this to like more of a party event. Like if you're going out or something, I think this is actually pretty cute. So yeah, we did a hairstyle together. I've never done this before. I actually really like it because when I did this when my hair was like shorter, it didn't look right because I don't know, I didn't have enough volume like this. So we're going out to a party or something fancy we can do our hair like this. Love it. All right, so I have one more hairstyle. So the last one is actually one of my favorites too. Um, it's actually the black look in my intro. I love doing my hair like this because it. I used to have my head shaved um, on the side, but it just reminds me of those like fun wild times. So I just like, you know, put it like this and then you'll have like the hair on the side. You guys will see, you'll see. So guess who forgot the bobby pins inside of their house? Yeah, so I'm gonna show you a different way using a headscarf, um, but all I do is literally take the side of my hair like this. This is my good side, so I like this side. And I just take the gel and then I just bobby pin it so it looks like you have like a shaved half of your head, you know? If you don't wanna use a scarf, you can just use bobby pins instead. So I got these scarves from Amazon, I have four of them but I'm just gonna use this neutral looking one since I have purple eyeshadow on. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it, I like to fold it up like this in a triangle, and then I take the triangle to the end of the scarf, and then I roll it up, and then it becomes like this. So I'm literally going to, uh, since we don't really need any more of the gel, I'm just gonna take the brush and brush it back. And then I'm gonna take my scarf. I like to go from the back cause I like the bow in the front. I'm gonna put it to the side like this. Tie a knot. Make sure your hair doesn't get caught in there because my hair likes to do that sometimes. And then I knot it up. And then you could just leave it as a knot like that. So I'm just gonna double knot it. So I just make another knot and then I don't tie it up yet. I make sure this part is tight. Then I'll slowly start to tie it in and then boom. And now I like to tuck these so you don't see them. And I like to put a bobby pin to make sure it's secure so it doesn't fall out. So now that it's all nice and tucked, I'm gonna push it back a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my hair, since I don't have bobby pins, and I'm gonna shove it down in the scarf. And then just fluff this side. I like to take my head and tilt it and then I'll use the water so it all just stays to one side. And then you can like flatten it too. Oh, this is cute too, I've never done this before. Two hairstyles I've never done and you guys got to witness it, I love it. I'm gonna actually take a butterfly clip so you guys can actually see what it'll look like with pins. So it looks like over here is shaved, but it's not because it's just laying flat. You can also braid your hair too. I think that's really cute, I've seen that done too. Like if you wanna put the knot on this side, you can. Let's do that actually. So you can see the little knot that we made. There we go. So this is the last look. I think it's so cute. And this could be for like, I don't know if you wanna go to the beach or something. If you have the scarf on, I think it's so cute. But if you just do the pins, it's like really sexy and cool. It just gives you like a little bit of edginess, you know? All right, so those are four hairstyles that you can do with your natural hair. So I hope this helped you guys out on, you know, being a little bit more creative with your hair so you're not too bored with it. I know that I'm definitely gonna be doing some of these hairstyles because I'm tired of the same old look. And I think some of these looks are so cute. Like, 
I don't know. I just, I love them so much, especially this one. This one is so cute. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know to keep creating hair content for you guys. Comment down below what your favorite look is. Um, I would love to know. And if you guys do recreate it, definitely, definitely tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And I would love to see how you guys, you know, mix it up a little bit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be a part of my mermaid squad. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> I'm not the one